The final season of The Blacklist is edging ever closer to its hotly anticipated finale on NBC as Raymond Red Reddington, played by James Spader, tries to overcome Wu Jing, Chin Han, the freelancer, Daniel Sowley, and the army of burned blacklisters. But while the final season has welcomed back a number of new faces, and a few familiar ones from yesteryear, it also threw up a new location for Red to lay low. Red has been evading his enemies inside the now famous derelict bathhouse. While Red has been quick to highlight the pros of the filthy location, the likes of Cooper, Harry Lennox, have been less than convinced. These were once an oasis for the wretched masses, Red told Cooper on the show. A respite from their squalid tenements where plumbing was a pipe dream and people kicking their filthy buckets in great numbers. But Cooper, while he could see the appeal of its use as a hideout, wasn't too impressed with the aesthetic, admitting the bathhouse should be condemned. As a result, the bathhouse has almost become a character of its own throughout season 10, and actor Spader has now explained exactly how it came to fruition. In a new clip shared to the show's Instagram page, Spader explained, I was walking along 60th Street and I looked up and there was this brick building, this red brick building, it was a bathhouse. And I thought wouldn't that be a great place for Reddington to camp for the season, some old abandoned bathhouse, because it would have plumbing. Who would look for him there, you know? Spader said as he gestured with his hands. Delving into the intricacies of bringing it to life, he continued, Nick Lundy designed it and this wonderful crew built this great bathhouse. It's nice. It's got the showers there and the steam room hooked up. I don't know if you want to imagine Red in the steam room really but. Spader went on with a chuckle. Sadly for Spader and the Blacklist's legion of fans though, they won't be getting to see more of the bathhouse beyond season 10. Don't miss. BBC Breakfast fan slam King Charles coronation coverage, reaction. Carol Kirkwood issues apology to BBC Breakfast co-star over blunder, latest, Good Morning Britain viewers slam painful Thornberry interview, latest, NBC confirmed that season 10 would be the final installment of Red's tale, bringing his story to an end in just a few episodes. Spader has spoken out about the end of the blacklist, defending the network's decision. He told NBC, I think if the show went beyond this year, it would turn into a very different show. The thing that has been nice about this show was that we've never really had a really clear paradigm for the show. Tonally, the show shifts a lot from episode to episode, and I think that even the show has taken strange turns. I suspect that the show, if it went much further, would just become something that would be less recognizable to me," he claimed. The Blacklist continues Sundays on NBC in the USA. A UK release date is yet to be announced.